guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be solving the lead code question, flipping an image. All right, so this question over here is one of those questions where you just do what the question says and it's really straightforward. All right, so let's just go over what it is. So given a binary matrix A, we want to find a binary matrix just means a two dimensional matrix. Uh, we want to flip the image uh, horizontally, then invert it and return the resulting image. So to flip an image horizontally, that means that the each, each of the rows uh, in the image, it's reversed. So for example, if we have one, one, zero, uh, when you flip it horizontally, we're gonna reverse it. So the zero is gonna be the first value, then one, and then this one over here. So zero, one, one. And then after that, we need to invert the image. So to, uh, to invert an image, that means that each of the zero is placed by one, and each of the one is placed by zero. So in this case, we have uh, zero, one, one. And when you're inverting zero, one, one, the zero is now going to become a one. So as you can see, uh, the one, the both of ones are going to end up becoming zeros, which is exactly what happens here. All right, so hopefully you understood what we're really doing over here. And uh, just to kind of go over, uh, it is a two dimensional matrix. So we have a list over here. And inside of that, each list inside of the main list has or represents each image. So this over here represents one image. Uh, this represents the second and third image, so on and so forth. Okay, so uh, the question is pretty straightforward and let's just directly get into the code. Uh, so first we'll just go over uh, it more uh, methodically and then we'll kind of put everything into one line and see how that looks like. All right, so one of the first things that we want to do is we want to get each of our images, okay? So to do that, what we'll do is we're going to do for image in A. So now we have each of our images. So now the next step uh, in this is we need to reverse our images, okay? So to reverse it, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do image.reverse, okay? So this should reverse it for us, and this happens in place, so we don't need to worry about it. All right, so now we have our uh, reversed image, and the next step is to invert it. So what does invert mean? So one becomes zero, zero becomes one, right? So how exactly can we do this? So we could write a if condition. So if our value is equal to one, then we're going to uh, have zero, or else we're going to uh, or else we're going to replace it with one, right? So that's one way we could do it. Or another way we could use a bitwise operation to do that. And the operation that we're going to be using is called the XOR operation. And it's shown using this operator over here, right? So that's how you do XOR and how exactly this would work. Let's just say that we're doing the XOR between zero and zero. Uh, then what are the other conditions? So we can do zero and one, or we could do one and zero, but they're both the same thing. So I'm just going to write zero and one. And the other condition is one and one. So when you're doing the XOR between zero and zero and one and one, then in that case, you actually end up with the value of zero. So for zero and zero and one and one, you end up with the value of zero, okay? But when you're doing the XOR between zero and one or one and zero, that gives you a value of one. So how exactly can we use this in our program? So what we're gonna do is we know for a fact that the, either the values we're gonna have are either zero or one. So we're gonna XOR each of them with the number one. So since we're XORing it with one, let's just get rid of this so it's just more clear. So now we have these two conditions. So let's say the current number we're on is zero. So let's say we're currently over here. And in that case, when you do zero X or one, you end up with one. So, and that is the opposite of zero, right? So that's one way. And let's say the current number is one. When you do one X or one, that, and that gives you the value of zero. So in both of the conditions, all that's happening, if you have one X or one, that gives you zero. And if you have zero, when you X or it with one, you get one, which is the opposite. All right, so hopefully you understood what's happening and that's exactly what we're going to implement right now. So to do that, uh, I'll just do for index in range, and we want to get each of the values inside of image. So to do that, we'll just do range, length, and then image. Okay, so now we have each of the indices, and now we need to go to that specific element. So to do that, we're going to go to our image, we're going to go to a specific index, and now we're going to perform the XOR operation. So XOR equal to, and what that means is the same as calling, this is equal to, this value XOR with one, okay? So yeah, that's exactly what we're doing and we're just going to end up returning the uh, value A over here. Okay, so this should get accepted and now let's see how we can actually put all of this code into one single line. All right, so now let's just try to put it all in one line using comprehension. So we're gonna directly return this value. So this is going to be inside of a list, right? And what is the first thing that we're going to do? So we're gonna get each of our images. So to do that, we're gonna do for image, for image, and where are we getting it from? From A, so image for image in A. So now we have an image, but what exactly are we gonna do with this image? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this inside of a list and we're gonna do a comprehension inside of this. 
So the image that we get over here is a list, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to end up reversing it, okay? So to do that, we're just going to uh, call the reverse function. And the difference between this and dot reverse is that by doing reverse image, that's going to uh, end up giving us an object of the reversed uh, image array or sorry, list, right? So now we have the reversed image that we were looking for. And actually this is supposed to be reversed, not just reversed. Okay. So now we have this and now inside of each of them, all we need to do is we can just do x for uh, x in reversed image. So this gives us each of the values inside of the reversed image, but now we need to invert it. So to invert it, we're going to do x and then uh, we're going to use the xor operation and we're going to xor it with one. So let's just remove all of this. I'll just comment it out and now let's submit this. And as you can see, this submission was also accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching guys. Do let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.